Okay, so I'm at the Language Show 2017 with um, the lovely Graham Wilson, who's a physics teacher um, from Dulwich College and a, uh, a good friend of Nick Mayer's. And um, to be absolutely frank, one of my highlights has been, uh, of the show has been finding out about uh, Graham's amazing um, new audio QR code uh, technology, which he's going to talk about right now. So over to you, Graham. Okay, so um, I had a problem with marking books and I found that students didn't interact with my marking very well. So I came up with an easy way to do audio feedback. And this is the app which I've designed. I, I, I dabble a bit with programming in my free time. And I'll demonstrate it so you can see how it works. So what's so the name of the app? The app to start is off with? called Vocal Recall. Vocal and Recall. And it's available on Android and Apple devices. So I'll just load up the app now. And it allows you to record a message. So I would just go test, test, test. Hey Joe, how are you doing today? It also allows you to pause, okay, so, so I can pause the recording okay. and uh, continue it. So that would give you a chance to read the feedback or uh, read, read something that the student had done. And I can continue recording, etc. Uh, when you're done, you press the stop button and I can then upload two pre-printed QR codes. So I'll just scan this first one here. And you can name it so that you can put in the name of the student. I'm just going to call this test and it's gone to our servers in an encrypted format and then if I use another phone, so mm -hmm. I've got an Android phone here I'm going to use iEnigma which is a really good QR scanner and if we scan this top code again it focus it doesn't like the shadow, there we go and it takes me to the link and the audio has been stored at that link so you can hear that here test, 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 hey Joe, how are you doing today? It also allows you to pause and I can continue recording, etc. There we go. Uh, when you don't. <laughs> and it's a really, really fast, secure way of giving audio feedback. Um, and since we launched uh, a few weeks ago, at the beginning of September, um, we've been hearing about all the other ways that people can use this. Uh, language learning is one of the big ones which seems to be very popular. Um, and you can actually reverse it in that you can give the students these codes and they could record themselves at home and they could uh, stick them in their books and you could listen to them very quickly without having to log into anything, without having to go online, without having to sift through your emails to find things they've been sent to you. Um, now, the app will send you these for free, um, so you can print them out onto paper and you could cut and stick with Pritstick. Um, or you can print them onto sticky labels. So these are actually on sticky labels. And the app will, uh, along with the codes, it will send you a, a link to where you can buy these on Amazon. And you can just stick them very quickly onto students' work. Uh, these are completely free. The app is completely free at the moment. And we really are looking for uh, feedback. So if you would like to see any features included, and we've got loads of features coming, such as upload to multiple codes. So I could scan the same audio to all these codes, and it would be uploaded to all of them. Um, uh, we're also looking into data tagging so that instead of just naming it you can actually automatically assign the class, the project, the student name and the teacher comment all through the microphone, it will, it will have text transcription. Um, and we eventually hope to integrate it with school databases so that all the information is available and, and parents could log on and actually hear the audio for their, their students or their, their children um, in real time and they could see that without even having to collect their books in or, or you know and there's so many applications music uh, you could play something and, and stick it in we're going to be introducing video and pictures to it very shortly so imagine there's a student doing a presentation at the front of the class you could video it and stick it directly in their books and they could show that to their parents when they get home there's a lot of applications and I'd love to hear maybe what you'd like to use it for. Um, we're a small development team at the moment, um, so the updates will be regular, um, but we can't do anything too big until we get more people. So hopefully that happens, um, if we have your support. <laughs> well, I think this is really, really exciting, Graham, and I'm really excited that you've shown it to, uh, to everyone. So just everyone can see now, you've got the lovely sticker sheet. It's a very uh, quick and easy solution for audio QR, uh, audio QR code uh, creation. So from a language teaching point of view, 
it would seem that teachers would use it for audio feedback quickly and easily so they would um, have a sheet of stickers they could give um, audio feedback to each individual uh, student's work peel off the sticker stick it into their book or if they had a wall display they could um, get the children to record their own audio put it next to each uh, part of their work on a wall display or as you said in general for their own uh, uh, promotion of their own speaking skills capturing it in audio having it um, for free on uh, on your servers they can then um, access the fact it's um, encrypted at both ends is, is, is brilliant and um, I think it would be I think it's the, it's the slickest solution I've seen for audio QR codes ever which is why I'm very excited about this and I hope that lots of people give feedback when we, when we tweet about this and publish this online so thanks ever so much Graham for showing this Thank to you. us Thank and you. I look forward to people's feedback